Number 14, a Proton initially has V equals to 4i minus 2j plus 3k and then 4 seconds later has V equals to minus 2i minus 2j plus 5k in meters per second. So let's call V0 our initial velocity which is equal to 4 in the i direction minus 2 in the j direction plus 3 in the k direction and don't forget to include the unit which is meters per second. The second velocity over here, we will call it final v, our final velocity, which is equal to minus 2 in the i direction, minus 2 in the j direction, plus 5 in the k direction, and also it is in meters per second. For that 4 seconds, what are letter A, the proton's average acceleration in unit vector notation? So for letter A, we have to calculate the vector of the average acceleration and we can do that by just doing the difference between the velocities over time which is the final velocity minus the initial velocity over delta t and just replacing the letters by the numbers we will have minus 2i minus 2j plus 5k minus 4i, because we have this minus sign over here, so it's minus 4, minus with minus plus, plus 2j, minus 3k, this over 4. And we can cross out this term with this term over here, and then we get that our average acceleration is equal to minus 6 in the i direction plus 2 in the k direction over 4 and this is equal to minus 1.5 in the i direction plus uh, 0.5 in the k direction don't forget to include the unit as well and this is meter per second square so this is the answer for letter A for letter B we have to find the average acceleration, but now we need the magnitude of the, the vector average acceleration. And how we can achieve, how can we calculate the magnitude of a vector? So we want the magnitude of a vector. And all we have to do is the square root of each term squared. So it will be minus 1.5 squared plus 0.5 squared and this is equal to roughly 1.6 meters per square seconds so this is the magnitude of this vector over here let us see the angle between uh, the the acceleration and the positive direction of the x-axis and how we can calculate that we know that the tangent of the angle is equal to the, 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 the z component, so it would be az over ax, but we want the angle over here and not the tangent, so we, can, we have to apply the inverse function of tangent, which is arc tangent of a, az over ax. And this will give us two different answers. So we we will we'll doing we are doing the arc tangent of 0 0.5 over minus 1.5, and this is equal to minus 18 degrees or plus 162 degrees. This happens because the the tangent is the same for two different angles. So let's say this is x and this is z. Over here, the tangent is the same for minus 18 degrees, which is, it should be something like this. This, this is roughly minus 18 degrees. And this is roughly 162 degrees. So the tangent is the same because the tangent is when it hits the wall over here. So the tangent is the same for those two different angles and we have to choose which one is the correct one. So you just have to draw it because we have that is negative in the x direction 
So the vector goes like this in the x direction and it's positive in the z direction. So it is something like this. And then we can figure out that the correct answer is 162 degrees. And this is the answer of this exercise.